Informal contractions. Informal contractions are short forms that people use when speaking casually. They make conversations sound more natural and fluent. English is a language of expressions. We don't speak English the way it's written in books. Spoken English must have a natural flow. Now, informal contractions are not exactly slang words, but they are a little like slang. They are normally used when speaking fast and casually, for example, with friends, family, and colleagues. In this English lesson, we will look at 40 commonly used informal contractions to sound more natural in English conversations. I am Sarah, your English coach. If you are new to the channel, like, share, subscribe and click the bell to get notified for my new English lessons. Let's get started. Here's the first one. Ain't. Ain't is the contracted form of am not, are not and is not. She ain't hungry. He ain't coming to the party. Ain't. Ain't could also be used instead of has not and have not. He ain't done it yet. Ain't you ready? We're getting late. Wanna. Wanna means want to. I wanna go home. Do you wanna come with me? Wanna. Wanna can also be used instead of want a. Uh, I wanna coffee. I wanna buy a new phone. Watcher. Watcher is the contracted form of what have you. What have you got there changes to what you got there. What you got there. Next up is kinda, which means kind of. Alice is kinda cute. It's kinda complicated to explain. Kinda. Sorta. Sorta stands for sort of. She's sorta worried. I didn't know you liked that sort of thing. Sorta. Here's the next one. Outer. Outer means out of. I'm out of money. I'm sorry, we're out of stock. Up next is a lotter. A lotter, which means a lot of. I eat a lot of chocolate. I have a lot of free time today. Let's hang out. Next contraction is quite similar to the previous one. Lotsa. Lotsa stands for lots of. He has lots of money. You have lots of nerve to say that, which means you have a lot of guts to say that. Mucha. Mucha is the contracted form of much of. It's not much a surprise, is it? Mucha. Cuppa, my favourite. Cuppa, it means a cup of tea. In fact, you find this word in the modern dictionary. It's an informal British way to say a cup of tea. I use it very often. Cuppa. Where's my cuppa? Hmm, I need a cuppa. Would you like a cuppa? Cuppa. I don't know can be contracted to dunno. I don't know where it's kept. I don't know how to cook. You don't know? Surprising. Lemme. Lemme. It's the contracted form of let me. Let me help you with that. Let me figure that out. Let me take a look at that. Lemme. Here's another one. Gimme. Gimme means give me. Gimme. <laughs> Sounds like someone's name, doesn't it? Gimme. Gimme the book. Gimme some sauce. Stop staring and gimme a hand. <laughs> tell em means 
tell them. Tell them. You should tell them the truth. Tell them to be there at eight in the morning. Cause. Some people even say, cause. It's the shortened form of because. I'm late cause I missed my bus. We failed cause we didn't study. In it. In it. It's the contracted form of isn't it. It's a question tag used to confirm something. It's blue. In it. You are leaving tomorrow. In it. I'm a. It's commonly used instead of I'm going to. I'm a. I'm a talk to the boss. I'm a take a flight to London. I'm a. Another common contraction is gonna, which means going to. I'm gonna call you tonight. I'm gonna meet Ava for lunch. Gonna. Needer. Needer stands for need to. Needer. You need to learn this computer application. I need to take a new job. Have to. Have to means have to. We have to go to the market. I have to learn English. Similarly, instead of has to, you can say has to. Has to. John has to work this weekend. Has to. Next up is used to, means used to. Used to. She used to live in New York. I used to ride a bike. Used to. Gotta, means got to. I gotta complete this presentation. Gotta. Gotta could also mean got a. Have you got a phone? You can replace you with ya. I miss ya. Why don't you come over for dinner? Here's the next contraction. Shoulda. Shoulda stands for should have. You should have called me before coming. Shouldna stands for shouldn't have. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have told you that. Similarly, wouldna, which stands for wouldn't have. I wouldn't have done that if I were you. Here's the next one. Shida, which means she would have. She'd have been prepared for that test. Coulda stands for could have. He could have taken that job. I could have studied well. Similarly, woulda means would have. Woulda. He would have arrived soon by car. He would have married her. Mita. Mita stands for might have. You might have left your phone at the airport. You might have bought that car. Next up is musta, which means must have. She must have been in a hurry. You must have been careful. Don't you? Stands for don't you? Don't you? Don't you see it? I warn, don't you do it. And won't you means won't you? Won't you come to the party? Won't you eat a burger? Watcher means what are you? What you doing? What you up to? Gotcha. Gotcha means got you. I gotcha. Do is the contraction for do you? Do you like him? Do you like a cuppa? Didn't you? Didn't you? Stands for didn't you? Didn't you like this movie? Here's the next one. Did ya? Did ya? Which means did you? Did you do it? Did you pay the bills? Later. Later. It means later. See you later. Or you could simply say later. Instead of saying goodbye, come on. Instead of saying come 
on as two separate words, you can say, come on, come on, let's do it together. That's all for today. I hope you liked today's lesson. Use these contractions to speak English naturally. I will see you soon with another English lesson. Until then, keep learning, keep practicing English. Bye.